Hola Leos, welcome to your reading for the period of July 6th to July 11th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Leos for the period of July 6th to July 11th. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to Universe, and closer to Divine through your messages? Leos, July 6th to july 11th what do you see what do they need to know general energy is for leos during this period of time you have the ace of pentacles in the reverse make sure you click on the vimeo link below for your love career finances and health specifically i'll break that down for you challenge edition we have the temperance card in the upright in my playlist 2021 sun moon predictions i'll be doing 2022s this month make sure you post up your requests in the comments also in there what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign advice we have the page of wands in the upright ask me a question on instaco check me on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise we end on the five of pentacles in the reverse so leo it looks like general energies are you were kind of holding out for some sort of opportunity that was going to happen i feel like you were kind of dead set on it you thought it was a sure thing whether it was a person coming forward you know with a offer a romantic offer whether it was um in your career sector and you thought you were going to get that promotion or that raise you might have counted it counted on it so much to the point where you were putting all your eggs in one basket um it could be a opportunity where you um decided to gamble um the only problem is this week it didn't seem to come to fruition it didn't turn out the way that you kind of wanted it to so you gambled and you lost um so to speak so that's what's going on for general energies challenge with the temperance card in the upright which is the card of sagittarius if that resonates that is a card of feeling the challenge is you're very upset by this i mean i really think you were totally counting on this you totally thought that there was going to be follow through in regards to this not only that you felt like you earned it you felt like you deserved it um and when that didn't happen, everything is in flux right now. Um, you just cannot seem to get out of these negative thought patterns you're having and what happened, why didn't it happen? You know, I thought it was a sure thing and you're having a really hard time kind of recovering from that. The advice they're telling you is, you know, another bus will come along. I mean, don't kind of get all caught up on this. No matter how big of an opportunity it was, the Page of Wands is, speaks of positive news coming to you. So it seems like there might be another bus coming down your lane, um, even though you missed this one. So keep your eyes and ears open in regards to that. Um, if not that, the advice is look to change. What else inspires you? What else are you passionate about? There, you can always have a new be beginning at any time you choose to do so. So rather than lamenting this, you may want to move on to something else and really not kind of spend too much time on what was and instead spend more time on what could happen and the possibilities. Five of Pentacles is how you will be moving out of this week and into the next week. This is good because it looks like you do let go of whatever this was. You come out of that suffering. You see a light at the end of the tunnel. You're starting to realize what you possibly deserve and deciding to go after something else. So I do like to see this. You're gaining confidence. Um, so you do get over it. That's a good thing. Even though you have a, a moment where you're kind of licking your wounds. Why are these cards here for Leos? Who are these people? What are these energies? Additional messages. Who are these people? What are these energies for Leos? Starting with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yep. Seven of Cups in the upright. I mean, you really wanted this bad. It was the opportunity of opportunities. You had a lot of opportunities, a lot of options, but you were very focused on this one thing. Um, I mean, if you see this guy, he's just like, wow, look at all these things that you have. But I do feel like one of those things you desperately wanted and you knew that you were going to get it no matter what. Um, so that's why I feel as though I, I feel like the reason why you're so disappointed by this or why you were so upset by this is it was like the greatest thing out of a lot of great things. <laughs> this was like the pinnacle and you're like, oh, here I go. I'm ready to deserve, to deserve this. So, and you kind of sat and were like waiting and then it never came around and you were like, wait, what just happened? So I, I feel that that kind of fed into it to a degree. Why is the temperance card here in the upright? 
in the challenge position. Oh, your, your emotions were all over the place. Okay. Um, you probably had a hard time controlling your temper or your frustration. Uh, King of Cups in the reverse is when um, someone lets their emotions absolutely run them and get the best of them. So I think you were having really negative emotions and you were very, being very demonstrative about that, very vocal about that, very emotional about that, um, which was a challenge for you. So it happened and then you had a whole time, a hard time kind of holding back from that mighty roar that you guys have why is the page of wands here in the upright for advice yeah be positive sun card in the upright is you have better things that await you um you might have thought that this was the one the thing the job the career um whatever the experience whatever it was but i mean they're telling you there's something else out there this was just like a glitch this was a a bump in the road so to speak i mean these are two fantastic cards here with the sun card in the upright sun card in the upright is it, first of all it's it's one of your cards it's a card of leo but it also um is about brighter and sunnier days ahead um you know something way better but not way better way better that it's going to be far more fulfilling more enjoyable than you ever thought very warm very radiant i mean don't sweat this too much because i see something else coming after this week why is the five of pentacles here in reverse who's this person what's this energy additional messages Okay, you are still a little bit guarded though. I mean, you come out of it, you gain your confidence, you realize that, okay, well, that didn't happen and I'm sure that some other opportunity is going to come to me, but you, you're you really worried and because you don't like how you felt, you don't like how it kind of up to ended you and you're not looking forward to that ever happening again. So now you're a little bit guarded when um, something does come your way. You kind of question it a little bit and you're like, hey, what are you here for? Why are you offering me this? You know, or is it really a sure thing? Is it really going to happen this time? Because last time something Something didn't happen and I really didn't you know I really didn't like how that went down so um, you know and, and that's totally natural that's human nature so nothing wrong with that so that's what I have for you Leo's if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a DM make sure you click on the video link below for your love career finances and health specifically in my playlist 2021 Sun Moon predictions 2022s are coming out in July so be be sure to post your requests up in the comments also, my playlist, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate, and you get a bonus card, lover's card in the upright. So this is an indication that you could be making a connection with somebody. Of course, this is very romantic. I mean, it can be romantic. This is the card of Gemini. Um, this is the card of twin flame, soulmate, your one, the one, whatever labels you prescribe to, as I often say, but you could be making a connection this week with somebody who is very positive, um, someone who is your person, someone that is going to, that you can be very open with, very vulnerable with, um, someone that you can show your love with. So, um, or love too. This does not always have to be a romantic connection. This can be a deep friendship that just really clicks. This could be a colleague, a boss, a business partner. So look for that connection this week for some of you. I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Good luck, Leo. See you later. Bye.